I've always been fascinated with gar fishing. They're one of the coolest freshwater species. Growing up on the Great Lakes, I caught a lot of them. And the ultimate gar is the alligator gar. They can grow over nine feet long and weigh more than 300 pounds. So I traveled to Texas on a quest to catch a 200 pound alligator gar. I met up with my good buddy, Kyle the Fish Whisperer and Henry Martin from Catching Dinosaurs. And we went on the river searching for a monster. I got the drone in the air and we we just found a massive gar. This thing could be over 100 pounds. It's sitting right on the surface. Kyle's gonna fish his bait right now. I think we're gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, angle, head straight. I'm directly above it, so just head, turn right, and you're gonna see it, yep. To the left? Yeah. Okay. Kill it, kill it now, kill it now, kill it, kill it. Pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, dude, he's right there. That's his face. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Ready? Yeah. Get him, get him. He got it. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! Can we get this to you? Here, just, just, just get, get a wide shot. Okay. See, it's good. Don't, you want me to get it? No, 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 not yet. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now turn the boat. Turn the boat. <sighs> there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, mama! Woo! Sight fish. Oh no! No! Oh. Dang. That was, yeah, that was a five footer. That's a nice fish. I got a good video of it. Fix that hook in that bait and make sure that the point's not messed up. The bait, the hook tur turned back yeah, in itself. Turn back into it a little bit. But just make sure they're yeah. Point's fine. We'll, we'll find bigger. Oh, gosh, that was sick. That's a, that's a good warm up right there. You guys saw that. That was sick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I found a giant. Hold on. Which way is his head facing? Face, facing this way. That way. Yeah, here, I'll show you. Look, look, look here closely. Oh, he's big, bro, hey? He's not little. Hold on, she's trying to eat it. Trying to eat it. Trying to eat it. Hold on. Hold on. Reel, 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 reel up a little bit. She, she's looking for it. She, she's right there. 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 Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, it hurts. <laughs> dude, you just piped it. We're just letting her eat the bait. Gar, they, they take their time. Gotta keep this line coming out. You do not, no strings attached. You do not want that gar to feel any tension. Real, real, real set. You gotta turn the door. Look at her moving the boat. There she is. Whoa. Try to move her to the right side if you can. Go. I think she's at like five, six, five, eight. Maybe not quite. I'm off. You off? Yeah. We're at five, 63. 63, 63. Five, three. Five, three. So if you actually touch this, it's literally like this thick of metal. Another thing that's really interesting is you got one, two, three, four, four nostrils that she's using. On some of them, you can actually feel the teeth coming through these holes back here. That's my biggest alligator gar. That is a monster right there. 75 pounds probably. And the crazy thing is, they get way bigger. Here we go, let her go. Take good care of her. You ready, sweetheart? See you, baby. Dinosaurs in here, bro. See ya. That was epic. Really Drone sorry, eat, God. top water eat, right by the boat. What more do you want? Oh, it's gonna be so sick. There's two, two or three of them in, in the grass right here, just chilling. Kyle, you ready to sight fish one? I am. I got my first gar on a piece of carp. Kyle wants to get him on a lure. He's got this little upper plopper thing right here. And we just found three gar on the drone. So he's gonna pitch this lure at him 
And let's see if they eat it. So is he, he's right Dave's up on the bank? You see him? Watch, you're gonna see him, watch, watch. There, there, there's two of them right here. There's another one right, right on the bank too. See the, the one that he just rolled. See him right here waking? All right. Ready? Pitch. Yeah. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Hold on. Oh, he got it. No. Oh, put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back. Oh! Oh! You got him. Oh my gosh. No. No. Kyle. Oh! oh! Dang it. He got off. No. <laughs> oh my that was God. so sick. There's another one over here. There's another one over here. Had the drone in the air. We flew three batteries. We found a bunch of fish. Got some cool eats. Now it's time to run the bank here and sight fish some big gutter. Oh! He got it! He got it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> In the net, yeah! Nice alligator gar. Look at, look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. He ain't playing games. That's a cool fish catch on a lure, man. You guys saw the eat. How awesome was that? Whoa, calm down. And she's gone. That was not the release I was trying to do. She stabbed me right in the hand here with her pectoral fin. Those are just bony, mean fish, but Dude, come on, bro. Yeah, you got stuff your game right now, now. dude. You got stuff your game. Guys, this is the fish whisperer. He, he's he been whispering the whole time that he, he hasn't found the fish he wants hey, yet. I'm whispering him for you. Really? Yeah. Oh, I appreciate it. It's your, your episode. I'm trying to get the big ones for you. Thank so. you. Yeah. Now, wait, listen. Now I want you to whisper one for yourself. All right. I want to be like All nine right. foot. Nine two. All right. On a lure? On a lure. All right. All right. The bike got really slow, so we decided to pack it in and head over to Kyle's house. He's got this pond with these giant bass that he feeds all the time. We got a really cool video. If you guys wanna check that out, click the card right here. The following day, we got on the water super early, but the conditions were really tough. It was very cloudy and the water was a lot dirtier, so we couldn't use the drone. We had to change up our techniques and try soaking baits on the bottom. We tried sight fishing this morning. We couldn't see any gar. There's overcast and the water is a little more dirtier than it was yesterday. So we've anchored up here on the bank and we're gonna toss some baits in the middle of the river. Basically what I found is with a small hook, if you just stick it in the bait, there's no room for it to work. So what you have to end up doing is getting it to fly out here to kind of like stay on the outside of your bait, basically like that. So what I end up doing is I use rigging floss and I just use a triple overhand knot, super simple. I use rigging floss. I'm using a mortician's needle to go through the bait, spin it once or twice, go back through and you're good to go. And basically the reason why you would go through all that is so that you can use a smaller hook to get the same job done. Guys, this float just got picked up. We saw a bunch of big bubbles. I think we got a fish on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you on that. It's weird. Yeah. Exactly. Mona, check your drag. You want it extremely tight, but to where you can turn it. I don't know. Exactly. I think she's in that tree, dude. Exactly. Here, ready? Here. Yeah. <sighs> Ready? Get in there, get it in there. Get it in that. That's a giant one. That, dude, that's massive. Yeah, that's a long First car of the day, long nose. The biggest long nose I've ever seen. Definitely get bigger than this though. Wow. It's a mean fish. Let's let you go, baby girl. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Gotta watch out, man. Awesome. Dude, your glasses. Guys. It hit his face. Yeah, Look at the scratch on the glasses. <laughs> that, that You would have lost your eye there, dude. That's why I try to leave him in the water as much as I can, but. That is sketchy, man. 
I mean, seriously guys, you have to wear sunglasses with these things. I mean, I, I've never thought in a million years it would happen, but he would have literally, his eye would have been slashed in half. Like that's insane. Uh-huh. Hey, I, hey, Jeff, Jeff, I, I gotta let you go. We gotta bite, we gotta bite. I'll let you go, okay? That's small. There it is. Not bad. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Cute little five footer. She probably like right at 55 or so. Look at that fish, guys. That is the alligator gar. Man, that's probably one of the coolest freshwater fish you could ever catch. I mean, I've always loved catching gar. I've done it my whole life. Kid, I've caught a ton of these things, and this is the ultimate gar. Biggest of the biggest. And they get a lot bigger than this. All right, mama. You ready? <laughs> this, that's a parasite on her, look at that. What is that? A little stingrays. They move around, they kind of like blood. What the heck are those things? Here she goes, here she goes, here she goes, ready? Come on, ready, and three, two, see ya. That's a cool fish, guys. Wow. That is literally a dinosaur. Those fish have been around for a long time. They own these rivers. You know what? Let's find a bigger one. After catching that last fish, the bike completely shut down. And that was the end of our trip to Texas. I've been here twice now, searching for an alligator gar. This fish is very high on my bucket list and the quest for a 200 pounder continues. I gotta give a huge thanks to my buddy Kyle from The Fish Whisper and Henry Martin from Catching Dinosaurs. Guys, please go check them out. Links are in the description. Great guys. They're all about conservation and preserving these amazing fish. Thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate all the support. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.